first things first for you blood clots. Have you seen this? Courtesy of Brendan Schaub's Instagram. What the fuck is going on with Brendan? Allegedly, he looks like he might have broken his neck or something. According to his Instagram, he's got this picture of himself in the brace, which is similar to the brace that Chin had when Brendan Shaw pulled Chin's head off from his shoulders when they were mucking around, right, in the studio. They were doing a bit of, they were ha they were having a bit of rough house, as Brian Callan likes to say, right? Just some lads having a bit of fun in the studio. And Brendan got flipping, um, he got fucking, um, what's his face? He got Chin into a guillotine or something. And then he literally pulled his head from his shoulders and Chin's neck cracked. And it hasn't been the same since. Like he's had to wear, like he had to wear a brace, um, he couldn't get any. He couldn't get any help in the hospital because he didn't have good health insurance. Brendan, despite being the guy that offers to pay everybody's thing, right? Whenever something touching happens in the media, Brendan always jumps in it like a charity clout chasing and tries to offer money to look after people, you know, to pay for people's um kids' surgeries and to do this, whatever. But when it came to Chin, for some reason, he went mute. He was very quiet. He didn't want to say nothing. He didn't want to help. And I, 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 I always wondered why that was, but it didn't happen anyway. And Or maybe Chin didn't want to accept the money because Chin seems like a very proud person anyway, right? He's Asian too. So I think a, a part of being proud and being Asian is that you probably don't need, ever ask for help. I, I know if that was me and somebody offered me help, I probably wouldn't take it either. So maybe it was Chin saying no at less of, le, as, um, as less to do with Brendan not offering. Anyway. Long story less long, this picture has been put up on Brendan's Instagram. The caption says, it's all fun and games, tuning your TRX till it's not. So now he's trying to suggest this happened. It's a weird state of offence though, isn't it? It's a weird state of, um, it's, a, it's a weird order of events. Because on his podcast, he's not wearing this. He's mentioned he totaled his TRX and he's going through the whole insurance thing. And now suddenly he's got a neck brace on. So what's happening? Did he get the TRX fixed and then he crashed it a second time? And how do you and how do you crack your neck tuning a car? Surely tuning a car means you're working on the engine, right? Can you tune a car while you're driving it? For those people in the for those people in the thing, Majiggy, for those people in the chat that drive, can you tune your car while you're actually driving it? Is that possible? Or do you only tune it when you're actually fiddling around with the fucking engine and shit? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the train chat because I don't really know much about cars. But I would assume when you're tuning a car, you're tuning its engine, you're fine tuning it. It's usually stationary. So what happened to him? Did he have it up in the air and it fell on his neck? <laughs> like what happened? You know what I mean? Because I don't really understand. But okay, people are saying no, you can't tune a car while you're driving it. You can change a mode maybe, but that's about it. But you can't tune it while you're driving. Neck strain from watching another man work on your truck. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And obviously people in the comments are are, 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 are licking licking his ass. You got a slick you got a sick child at home and you're out here playing around. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm not gonna comment any more about the kids or the wife because that's my rule. John Annick says, Man, at least you look handsome here. Which is probably the reason why he posted it, isn't it? Because he does look he does look fairly skinny in the face. That's probably why he even posted the picture, isn't it, right? And for once, his moustache looks like it's the right length. I don't think it is, but it does look like the right length here, doesn't it? Those lips are looking very plumped, isn't it? I'm sorry to believe he got his lips done, isn't it? Or maybe they've been, or maybe they're dissolving. Is that a thing? His lips look like they're dissolving, isn't it? Or am I reading too much into it? Look, who, look where I've worked. Look at how far I've gone down the hill. Look at how much. Look at how fucking low I've got. I'm here analysing fucking Bapper's lips. Bloody hell, mate. I graduated, like, with a fucking decent degree from a good university. Now look at me. I'm out here fucking staring at a man's lips and wondering whether or not he got them plumped or not. Jesus Christ. Anyways, um, let's continue on with the comments. But you had fun, though, right? That's funny. Hard to handle 1,000 horsepower when you're, when you're giving top to... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hard to handle... 1,000 brake horsepower when you're giving top to the guy riding shotgun. <laughs> Holy shit. But, yo, he needs, to re he needs to rehire George. How did that comment get through? Oh, my God. <laughs> Chris Chin's revenge. <laughs> Bro was, Gro was giving mad dumb. No bueno, Just Wolf comedy. What happened to your truck? 
LMAO, there's a cancellation for step. Oh my God. There's the cancellation for the stepmothership. <laughs> oh my God. Looks like the TRX tuned you. Man hurt his neck fixing his mustache. <laughs> oh my god. That's so rude. Oh. Oh. My son would make that exact same face at me if I was dropping a double deuce in his diapers. If he was, sorry. Brother, the whole Shaw horse household hose hose hold needs to chill the hell out on medical issues dude is killing the fans with worrying about y'all you and your daughter please get right soon brian callen get your back back finally get you back huh so allegedly let's see some more comments actually i see some more because these comments are brutal big up the fucking brendan shaw instagram commenters mate they are fucking good not as good as the chat here but they're good Oh my god, bro. <laughs> when you're giving dome to the guy riding shotgun is brutal. It happens. Find comfort in the fact that you never feel stupid as me. One time I rolled a trophy truck in reverse. Glad you're good, brother. Who's this? Who's BJ Baldwin? Who's sucking up to Brendan? Who's this? Who's this guy? Is he a truck dude? One million followers. Who the fuck is BJ Baldwin? Oh, he's some sort of car guy, right? Cool. Fuck you now. Austin Wake. No. It's a trug walk, not a trug. It's a trug walk, not a tr not a trug waste. Sucking too much, faking it for insurance money is wild. <gasps> Do you think that's what he's doing? Do you think that's what he's doing? Faking it for insurance money. He modded the seats with dildos named after W. Yo, yo, come on, Uche, you need to chill. Uche needs to chill. I think Uche has been. I think Uche has had a bit too much fucking ginger beer or something. Like, oh, you need to relax. <laughs> Name that's a WWE stars he froze back too hard. <laughs> His name is BJ for a reason, simp, exactly. Oh my god, mate. My son would make that uh, TRX is a no joke, dude. You gotta watch out with them. They don't make the parts no more. I deadlifted what I deadlifted my Magnus. TVS bad truck will pull the hammy and hurt my C3. Okay. Um drag racing against Chappelle again, I see. Old man still has that power. Step on the rollers. Hey, dog, maybe chill. That South Park meme. At least the mustache isn't crooked. Look at the positives. Hey, big up Austin Malcolm 21. Big boy. But Brendan allegedly broke his neck. Allegedly. Well, allegedly, allegedly, this might be the picture of his car flipped. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly, this may be evidence, if ever you needed it, of Bapa's car when he allegedly flipped it, allegedly, allegedly. I don't know how I got hold of this. I don't know if somebody sent this to me or not, but allegedly, this is the image of how Papa flipped his car. Allegedly, allegedly. I don't know where I got this. I just turned on my computer and it was here. I have no idea if this is real. This could be from Google. Allegedly, this is the picture, allegedly. Who knows if this is true though? Allegedly, that's the picture. Of his car total of his car flipped not total but flipped over on his top. Allegedly. <laughs> uh, can you imagine how bad of a driver you have to be to flip a car like that? Can you imagine how bad of a car you have to be? Because everything here looks so good, like the fucking alloys look really nice. I don't know much about cars, right? The suspension looks really, really nice and expensive. Like that looks like a that looks like a really good car, like a really good truck. Now look, imagine that. Imagine, imagine this dork flipping it. Imagine, one thousand horsepower for what? What's the point of having one thousand horsepower if you can't fucking drive it? Does that make any sense? Does that make any sense? Really doesn't. Especially if it's meant to be like a car you're meant to take your kids in. Like, it's such a weird thing to have that kind of power for something that's meant to be doing the school runs. Don't you think? I never understood that. Like, if you're meant to be doing the school runs in that car, why is it so... Why is it... Why do you have to tune it so much, you know? Why do you have to mod it so much? Why? What's the point? It makes no sense, but yeah. Maybe that makes sense now. That happened That happened ages ago. This happened recently. 
you know, but maybe it's all an insurance scam. Who fucking knows? Maybe it's all an insurance scam. Who knows? Who knows? This is a funny clip. Big up the Frightened Kid subreddit. I hope he has life insurance. This is interesting because Brendan inadvertently revealed something that we didn't know. He revealed something that I, maybe I did, maybe you guys knew, but I didn't know this. But Brendan revealed something very interesting here. Watch this clip. A lot of fun. Mixed in with that, your boy is a truck racer. I race trucks. I'm getting ready for the Mint 400. I leave Friday to go test drive the truck they built for me. So it should be interesting. And I did tell them I flipped my DRX. So I need lessons. Not going to lie to you. But yeah, that's uh, second week in March. But I'm, I've am i been get rearing up for it, test driving the car. Rigid uh, made this special car, so it, it truck, so it should be interesting. I can't wait. My brother's my co-pilot, co-driver. You know the guy who goes right, left, right, left. That's Dude, DJ. Those are freaky when I watch those. Like, like rally. Those, those That's they, they look doing. so crazy. Uh, it's gonna be about an eight-hour race. I'm gonna shit my pants. So you're gonna, you're getting trained first, and then you're gonna race. You're I've been training. Yeah, oh, okay. I've been training. Yeah, yeah. Well, good I just don't tell you guys. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, <laughs> that looks insane. Okay, you should be fun. The guy that had to quit comedy to spend more time with his family is now all of a sudden going to be a, what, part-time pickup truck racing car driver. Press X to doubt. Press X to fucking doubt. All caps X, small X. X with your finger. X by pissing it on the ground. Press X to fucking doubt on that one. How much sense does that bloody make? I thought you didn't have time. I thought you didn't. I thought you wanted to watch Bosty grow up. I thought you wanted to be Tiger's fucking baseball coach. I thought you went to spend more time with the wife and go on date nights. By the way, I'm not talking about the wife anymore, but just an observation. There was a post. There was a post on the Fire and the Kids sub where I think the wife posted a, a selfie of Brendan and, and, and her out. And it said like, it said date night. It's been rough. Bro, you see how happy she looked. That woman doesn't generally look, she, that woman generally doesn't look that happy. Maybe because of all the work, she can't really smile that much. And maybe the only time you really see her happy is when she's like, you know, holding designer bags. But she looked really happy. That was like a genuine smile. You could tell like, okay, cool. I finally got my husband back. I finally got my partner back. I finally got the father of my kids back. Selfishly, right? When he's quick comedy. And now all of a sudden, that same guy is now doing pickup truck racing. Bruh. This guy, is, this guy is flipping his pickup truck, right? Allegedly. Allegedly, this guy is flipping his pickup truck, right? He's flipping it, allegedly. He's flipping his pickup truck, right? Allegedly. But he thinks he has the skills necessary to race trucks now. He's flipping his pickup truck in a non-competitive um, environment, right? In a low-stakes environment, just running around, recording content. He's flipping it. He expects now to take that same type of skill to a racing track or over a long course or whatever it may be and somehow become a racing pickup truck driver. And l let's say he could. Let's say he could. Why can't he just start from step one? Why does it always have to be like, I'm going to go right to the end? Even with his stand-up comedy career. Instead of starting building up slowly, doing open mics, sorry getting your sets and reps in and shit he went straight to doing fucking theaters he went straight to doing specials within the first two years of him doing comedy the same mistakes happen with his pickup truck racing thing why not train why not take your time train properly with an expert get some fucking minutes behind the wheel with experts go very slowly blah 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 and then enter some local and then go from there why does it always have to be like oh i want to become this uh, like why 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 part of me thinks this isn't even part of me thinks it's even this isn't even that big of a deal and he's probably just doing it because he's generally bored at home because the truth of the matter is he didn't quit stand-up comedy stand-up comedy quit him and now he's got free time he doesn't know what to do with it because as much as he talks on the podcast about being a beast of a dad and not wanting to not see and not wanting to be away from his kids the truth is his actions always show that he would rather be anywhere else but his house. He posts more content on his he posts more content on his Instagram of him doing other things apart from being with his family, right? Yeah, he's not really 
a family type of guy he doesn't like being a homebody really if you think about it especially if he's got distractions but now all his friends are in austin rogan has seemingly kind of i won't say cut him out but it's not the same as it once was now look at him big up nj ranger appreciate you oh okay um it doesn't it, it didn't say your 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 comment maybe because you included some cheat some swear words there let me say it for you now do you get why people get sussy even in a dire case of family emergencies for my part i wasn't trying to be brian Callan callous i just knew this motherfucker was going to go back on ra on racialism within a week these cheese eating son of a bitches exactly 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 um I don't think it is a bad thing to feel bad for him when his kid got ill. I I think you can show some because that's the thing with Brendan. He wouldn't. Done, you should show that level of um, what's that respect? I don't know what the word is, but the, the term for it is, but that level of like you know, care and prayers and thoughts is a nice thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, it's just a shame that he's just you know pissing all that yeah compassion that's it compassion thank you Cal k20 compassion i don't think it's bad to show compassion to him for his kid or sympathy thank you angel ranger but i just think it's a it's just a shitty thing like how it's kind of all played out now do you know what i mean because it's pretty obvious to see like i said you know comedy quit him he didn't quit comedy i said it before if rogan was still in la and if brendan didn't say oh i know bored guys that slang dick he would never have quit stand-up comedy. Rogan would still be giving him gigs at the comedy store. He'd still be doing his little tours and cancelling last minute. He'd still be there. But the reason why he's quit is mostly because he misses his friends. He's not getting, you know, as many bookings or selling as many tickets as he did as he did in the past. And it just probably isn't as fun anymore. Because deep down he's not a real true he's not really a true comic, if you think about it. Um, in the sense that he quit he quit doing stand up with no real appreciation for his fans, right? Like no real kind of thinking of his fans of like, oh, look all the fans that bought tickets for my future shows. Like he's not even quick like he's not even thinking about oh how I'm gonna get better. He just quits stand up because he can't sell tickets. He's not even what he's he doesn't even want to try and do like, oh, I'm just gonna go back to doing open mics and spots at clubs. No. He's just quit altogether because he can't sell tickets. Because to him, if he can't sell tickets, it doesn't it doesn't make sense to even go and do stand up, which is a real marker of like okay he clearly was in it for the money which is un which is understandable too to be fair to him it's understandable because i forgot who said it i think it was bert or something but the economy the economics of stand-up comedy are really good man the economics of stand-up comedy are really good they get paid really well especially if you get booked like the weekend like th these guys easily walk away from weekend club gigs with like 10k in their back pocket ten thousand dollars from telling those shitty jokes that they tell on podcasts on stage and shit so the economics behind it the financials of stand-up comedy are really good but you've got to sell tickets you've got to be funny you know all that stuff matters but what can you do 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 um what do you say about him <clears throat> but why but what would his wife <laughs> no 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 i don't think the wife lied agent orange i don't think there's not i don't think the the kid thing was a lie let me say that categorically. Brendan's kid was ill. Brendan kid did have need to have surgery. The sympathy and empathy we all had for him was correct and was in the and was um in the right taste. And um I, I don't think that situation was fake. I just think him, he kind of like it was an opportune thing. Let me say that. I think it was an opportune thing. It came out just it, it was a perfect timing. The tickets weren't moving anyway, and then that happened. And then it was a perfect thing to kind of like roll into, okay, cool, I'm leaving comedy. People can say it's probably because of my kid. And then you can kind of it not be like a failure thing. Do you know what I mean? It's more like, oh, look, I'm a good dad. Look at me taking time away from to look after my family. And that quote, remember that quote you said in his caption? Um, um, it's time to put my family first for once. That was the one where I was like, yo, that's a bit weird to say. Like for once. Why are you saying that in the caption? With the broken heart emojis like come on bro like but I i'm sure his kid was ill like i don't believe the rumors about oh his kid wasn't ill i don't believe that's true i believe his kid did have seizures i believe the cbd did help i believe the daughter was ill and she did have need to have surgery and i'm glad she's okay and on the mend but this whole racing car thing is insane especially when you think about it to end this especially when you think about it this way he's had a kid who had surgery who was clearly ill and not in a good place the kid is just back home now again right 
So you'd think you want to spend every single time available with the kid to try and nurture this kid back to like full health. Instead, he's racing pickup tr trucks, literally putting his life in danger. <laughs> it's like, what? Your kid just left, your kid just got discharged from hospital, needing surgery under six months, which you reckon is a, probably a, a serious thing. And now you're racing pickup trucks. Anyway, you know, what, less said on that, the better. The less said on that one, the better. We have another interesting reveal. Another interesting reveal. Another unintentional, interesting reveal. Big up again, the Fire and the Kids subreddit. Brendan Shaw revealed something else, which I didn't know. Maybe some of you guys knew already, but I didn't know this. This is really interesting news and is another maybe insight into how bad things are getting for him financially because i didn't know this i just laugh at him saying dumb things i laugh at the stupid mustache thing i laugh at brian being a fucking rapist allegedly and the feet but i don't really look too much into the financials well so it's not i don't really care but this is an interesting observation that i kind of picked from this clip watch this and responsible gaming resources yes i like the energy k Case. Yeah. The energy. Casey's been a little, a little sick. Oh, yeah. Me and Casey had to uh, carpool today. Like some adults carpooling, dude. Casey had to pick me up from the crib. Yeah, uh, I was like, don't you have more cars than anybody I know? How come you need a ride? <laughs> Your boy's an idiot and um, <laughs> waiting to get the TRX back. We should have news on that this week. So that was the dad mobile in the rain and Every other thing out here, and my other two cars have race slicks on them because I'm a moron. I like to drive fast, but race slicks can't go in the rain, so you can't drive. So, uh, Papa needed a ride this morning. Car pulled. It was nice. Yeah, you like nice. the Jetta though. You like my. Jetta. I dig the Jetta. <laughs> Quality car, <laughs> reliable. I grew up in a Jetta. My aunt Nubby had a Jetta to pick me up from school, so it brings back good memories. They're safe, reliable. You know. It's just, you know, isn't Volkswagen poor? Pick up NJ Ranger. Dog. <laughs> Big up NJ Ranger. Big up my guy, NJ Ranger. Bang your chest. Porsche too? Are they, they own related? Porsche. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, Volkswagen owns, uh, I mean, a ton of it. Yeah. So you're saying I basically have a Porsche? Basically. Is that what you're saying, Chen? Basically. Sure. Same thing. <laughs> yeah. A little different. Toyota Lexus. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> I did not know that Brendan has no cars left now. The TRX allegedly got totaled. Allegedly, the TRX got totaled, right? Allegedly, the TRX got totaled, right? Allegedly. And now we're hearing. Big up Billy Bats. You team no lore, team Liam, Oasis. Oh, Team Liam all day long. Well, I would even ask that. Of course, I'm of course I'm Team Liam. Team Noel, come on, man. Noel's a fucking wet blanket. I'm Team I'm Team Liam all the time. No, come on, man. Come on. Why would you even ask me that, man? Look at me. Who who whose team would you think I'd be on? Look at me. Look at look at me. Look at me. Whose team do you think I'd be on? Look at me. Look at me. And Liam likes the gear as well. Liam's a party boy like me. Do you know what I mean? He likes a little baggy. He likes a little. He likes a little treat here and there. He's he, we we share a lot of in common. <laughs> Liam likes a nice jacket. He likes a baggy, and he likes a good time. He likes a hot bird. You know what I mean? He likes a fit bird. Fit birds, baggies, and a good jacket. <laughs> That's me. I'm Team Liam all day long. Team Liam all day long. Big up Billy Bats. So going back to this, I did not know that Brendan sold all his cars. Did you know that? Did you guys know Brendan Shaw sold all his cars? So according to him, he had to take, he had to get a lift from that other dude, the producer, right? The one, the guy at the start here. He had to take a lift from him to get to work because his TRX is gone. And I'm guessing he can't drive the Lightning or the Dodge, right? The, the the orange lightning or the lime green Dodge, you can't drive because it's got race slicks on them, racing tires. And because it was raining, because I think I've heard reports that it was re it's been really bad weather in LA these last few weeks or whatever. So it's been raining. So he can't drive that car to work because he'd be slipping on side all over the place um, and probably cause himself even more injury. But then the other cars are gone. So the wife's Porsche is gone, right? Because Brendan wife's had a, didn't she have like a Lambo truck? Brendan, let's see if I can find it. Brendan Shaw cars. 
because I think Brendan's wife had a Lambo truck, like a, a, a Porsche, no, sorry, um, is it a Lambo truck? Eurus, right? Eurus. Um, he had a he had that Porsche, that purple one. There was a Ferrari. Um, there was a what's the car that fucking OJ was driving? Yeah, he, he had a he had a new version of the OJ car. So all of Brendan Schaub's cars have gone. The only cars he's got left is the Lightning, the Dodge, and the TRX. But the TRX allegedly, allegedly got totaled allegedly got totaled but that's yeah he doesn't have the car are you guys shocked the bronco i said the bronco the new age bronco that's it yeah so brandon Schaub had a bronco do you remember that one right yeah that's brandon Schaub's bronco do you remember that he had a bronco he, he ordered that bronco new when it came in then he had the ferrari he had a, he's had a couple of them right he had the red one and then he had a green one Right, you guys know about the fucking legendary Ferrari that he had. Then he had the Porsche, or oh, and and the red, there was red one too. He had in it, right? Oh, by the way, I think that's the guy that Brendan's. I think that's the friend of Brendan that died, and then he was he was like fake crying on a on a episode of the Golden Hour. I think that's the dude there. But mm-hmm. especially what we do, feel. like you got to come on here, you got to be silly, and then you mm-hmm. do stand up. I've never mm-hmm. been sadder in my life than right now. Sadder really? I've ever hundred percent. Yep. Oh man. Toughest time I've ever had. Mm. Hands down. But I'm good at it. You know, I'm good at it. So I think so. <laughs> I'm on here. I got that doomsday reference. <laughs> I'm good, man. I'll do stand up uh, on tough. Thursday. But yeah. it, 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 honestly, man, how tra- is that trashy or not? This is so gy- you know what he reminds you of a little bit. He, this is very gypsy, isn't it? This is very gypsy ish. I know a couple of gypsy guys in my area that would have this sort of stuff, like a BMW cake, a Mercedes cake. Do you know what I mean? Like, what is this? A Ferrari cake? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, Ferrari. Um, then there's the Porsche. My favourite car of Brendan is a Porsche. I've got to be honest. I think Brendan's Porsche was beautiful. This is my favourite car of his, for sure. I'd, I'd drive this in a heartbeat. This car is fucking gorgeous, man. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I would drive this so bad. This is so nice. That Porsche is beautiful. That That is a good car. Let's not lie. That car is fucking sexy. Like, pull up in that shit, like, with the engine going. Like, oh, that car is fucking gorgeous, right? So he had that. Oh, yeah, and it, oh, I think it was in purple first. I think he changed the color of it. He changed the wrap. And then what else did he have? We said Ferrari, Bronco, Porsche. Um, what other car did he get? Oh, um, and the wife had a Lambo truck, right? Was it a Lambo truck or Lambo SUV? There we go. Yeah, you see? They put everything on Instagram. These people put everything on Instagram. It's pretty weird. Look at the caption. I don't think mama ever dreamt of driving a Lambo today. I let her drive my car and she couldn't believe it. Dreams do come true. <laughs> well, the car's gone now, baby girl. Um, there's the there's the steering wheel of the Lambo truck. So yeah. Don't you find it? How selfish is Brendan though, right? How selfish is he? That the only cars he has left now, he has two cars that, it, that basically can't be driven with kids, right? Because the, the Ford Lightning is a two-seater, right? Or a three-seater, technically. And then the Dodge Ram... The Dodge Ram is what? Is a... Is it a five-seater or is it a two-seater? No, sorry. The, um, uh, what's it called? The Demon, is it? What's that fucking call, car called? Is it Demon 170? I forgot what the fucking name of it is. Is it a Demon? What the fuck's it called? There we go. Demon 170. This car, is that a five-seater or a two-seater? What is that? Is that a five-seater or a two-seater? It's basically a two-seater, isn't it? It's not really four-seater. It's got two seats at the back, but you can't really put your family in there. Don't you think it's selfish that he has two cars that basically are his and one car that's the family's, but even the family car, the TRX, he still got that ramped up to a thousand horsepower so like you know it's basically his car again none of the cars are like 
for the family. They're all basically for him. <laughs> it's so weird. But yeah, that that's a revelation we got from that little clip. Brendan had to sell a lot of his cars. Time must be really, really tough. Time must be tough for him, man. Time must be... Like, now I understand why he fired George. I'm not going to lie. I get why he fired George now. He had to sell the Lambo truck, his his um, Porsche, the Ferrari. That's a lot of money that he had to raise. So they've probably been really tight. They're probably actually struggling. You know that? No. That's the actual truth of it. They're actually probably really struggling for money. He had to sell three cars in, what, the last 18 months? Even though he bought some more, don't get me wrong, but he sold the most valuable cars because I'm sure the the lease... On the on on that Dodge is probably way less than the Lambo truck, right? I don't know about you guys. Please tell me in the stream chat if I'm if I'm talking at my asshole. If I'm talking crap, please tell me. But I'm, I imagine the lease on the Lightning, or no, I think he bought the Lightning Cash. But the lease on the Dodge Rat on that Dodge One Seventy, and the lease on the TRX is probably way less than the Porsche and the TRX, right? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Is it possible that any of those were rentals? I don't. Th I think he bought the Porsche. I think so. I think he bought the Porsche. I think the Porsche was purchased because he modded it up a lot. Um, and then I think the the Ferrari was what? The Ferrari maybe might have been at least. I'm not too sure. Big up views. How are you awake at this time? Cocaine, my friend. Cocaine is always the answer. Whenever you see me up past 12, it's always cocaine. Always cocaine. Liquid cocaine. Ah, you know the vibes. <laughs>